Alright, big opportunity here for Stearns to open up a lead. Moving over to that lane 29. Trying to put up the first, his first double of this match. Uh, the typical North Hobo phone call at that perfect time. I think that's why they have the music playing. He didn't like it, but that one went dead nuts Yeah, for, for a double. He kind of stepped up out of that one after he threw it. But uh, that's where I like to say nice miss. Again, you can probably hear the music playing. My guess is it's just a ambient sound thing because in the past it's been so quiet that the phone rings and this and that. Maybe somebody watching our coverage decides they want to call North Hill Bowl at an inopportune time. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay Whoa. if it pushes. Seems like he got that one a little bit in on the oil and it, it never saw the lane the right way. I thought it was going to hook up early, but it just kind of hydroplaned down there at 40, 45 feet. So another quitter 10 for, for Paul. Good spare. All right, Paul's got what, 225 left on the board? Yep. He's only got one more shot to throw on 30. So if he can find a way to lace one here on 29, get comfortable where he's throwing it. You only have to go back to 30 one more time. Finish out on, well, what I originally thought was his good, good lane, but then 710 and Followed it up with the quitter 10. We'll see what kind of adjustment he makes here. Push. Got it. All right, strike up for Bober. 135 in the seventh. Brady can put up a double and make it a pretty hard feat. Brady's got what, 247 still? I believe so. Again, Brady's throwing the IQ tour, which I would call one of the better balls ever made out of Utah. Uh oh. Uh oh. There is a dog. There, there. there is a dog on the approach. You, you, you can't make this up. There, there's literally a dog going, yes, oh my gosh, there's a dog. You see the dog on our... Now, I will mention that this is something to consider here. There is a dog, and Nick Heilman is a dog whisperer. I will mention that the front door here at North Hobol is automatic, so if there is a... There... <laughs> there is a dog running around they will <laughs> so so they're looking on the approach again the dog walked out on the lane uh, it did run out behind the desk so I think the dog is contained <laughs> first time for everything here on Animal TV. <laughs> you, you can't make this up <laughs> um, there's a dog <laughs> uh, so I don't know if I'll ever say that again but uh Yep. Yes, uh, good. This is this is a good test of the mental game, too. Yeah. You're in the moment. You're ready to close the door on this match, and a dog runs in through the front door. Their front door is two automatic doors that are basically motion, uh, sensor. motion sensor. And I don't know if the dog was a lost dog outside and just happened to find the heat because it is so cold out today. But, um, again, the dog is contained, and here we are, Stern's frame eight. Wow. wow. Not only was there a dog, but now a stone eight. Sports Center moment, possibly, Dale. Somebody might, if you want to clip that and send that to Sports Center Top 10. Uh, that's that's uh, not something you usually expect in uh, 
Yes, an Endy Bowl TV first here, folks. A dog has officially came <laughs> into North Bowl. Um, All right, on the spare. So great resolve by Brady. I don't know. That's that's a tough. <laughs> That's a tough thing to overcome, but you, you could tell right after the dog came into the bowling center, he looked over at Chad and they said, okay, just keep focused. Yeah. And the dog ran out on the lane. I'm glad the dog didn't make it to the championship pair. He ran across the, the approach, but uh, for the most part, they checked the approach and it's like I said, business as usual, yeah. <laughs> but something to ask him, whoever we talked to at the <laughs> in the, the post tournament interview. I'd say that's uh, like a real good trait for a lot of these like really good guys is being able to talk and like have a good time, but then absolutely lock back in as soon as they get ready to throw a shot. So, yeah, championship resolve there by Brady Stearns. Um, I don't know if I uh, – nice pun there, Chris Carrico, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I'd be able to really – retain focus like that in that that sort of moment you know you kind of feel like what just happened you know it's it's so easy to lose focus and well, something happens like that but uh nonetheless brady's got 226 left paul bober has 225 left so we still have a match Gotta have the one shot on 30. Look it up. God, yeah. that 10 just won't get out of there. Wrap 10. That was a definitely a better shot than the last time. That's when he threw there. But that makes it a little harder now. 205 max, which means spare strike for Brady Stearns. That's if he converts this and, and strikes out. Spare strike would be all Brady needs. And thank you again for tuning in, Michael. You were the winner of the Storm Absolute. Thanks again for participating and tuning in today. We do appreciate that. Thank you to everyone for tuning in all weekend long as we enter the final frame of the shootout. And get the seven, and it was going to that... That was going to take out the seven, and the bird dug off the wall, said, not today. He's made good shots, just can't get those corners out. This is a tough pair. It's historically been a tough pair on our show. All right, now the max is 194. It's pretty straightforward for Stearns. We already faced some 176 with the strike there, so. I'll get the seven that time. I'd say in usual fashion, you will carry that one. So 194 for Paul Bober. <clears throat> Again, thank you, Blake, for joining me today. Keep me company here in the booth. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And again, thank you for everyone who's tuned in today and all weekend long. It was good to bring the entire tournament to you for the first time ever celebrating 20 years at the shootout and here's Stearns for the win 
And there it is. That's going to do it. Brady Stearns has won the 2023 Moore Sanderson Memorial Shootout. And I bet you these guys are doggone proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. I know. I was looking at your little soundboard here, and I was like, do we have like a badumpch? <laughs> I need to put that in there. Oh, the, I think the brass is the, the one you would do for a joke. But, uh, again, congratulations to Brady Stearns. We will get a word with him here momentarily. Three-time major champion Brady Stearns takes down defending champion Paul Bober.